Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano and I'm back with more Jurassic World Legacy Collection. I had to read it because I keep getting Lost World, Jurassic World, I'm doing a Lost World figure, got a Lost World setup. It's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is the young T-Rex, the little baby T-Rex from the Lost World. The one that had like a little broken leg and they had to like carry him into the compound thing. Oh, check it out. I forgot to raise the antennas. Yeah, I own this thing. It's not complete. I'm missing a couple pieces, I know. But still pretty darn cool right so i figured we'd put ian malcolm out there we'd maybe put this guy in the little lab and see how he looks but first let's take a look at the outside of the package all right there we go jurassic world legacy collection logo it says if we pull the tail down look his little mouth closes and he comes with the muzzle very nice very nice Tyrannosaurus rex three and up chomp chomp cool uh, we've got Jurassic World Legacy Collection logo. It's got a little thing on the bottom of his foot. We can scan for the Jurassic Facts app. You'll unlock a digital version and some cool trivia about the T-Rex. I like it. Chomping Jaw. There's some of the other Legacy Collection dinos. I've yet to see that Velociraptor right there, the darker one. I've yet to see him or the Dilophosaur anywhere in my stores. Uh, it says it includes a muzzle, one Spanish dinosaur, and zero to three sad babies. Approve of this toy. That is the math of Jurassic Park. One Spanish dinosaur, zero to three sad babies. Let's get this guy open. All right, now as I'm opening it, you know the drill. Amazon links, eBay store, Spreadshirt shop. That's the other one, Patreon. All the things, all the things. You know how to support. If you don't want to do any of that stuff, guess what? There's plenty of free ways to support the channel. I mean, Amazon's technically free if you're already an Amazon shopper, but... There's other free ways. There's other different ways to do it. Leaving a like, commenting. Those are the best ways, actually. I like it. The muzzle. Does the muzzle do it right? Yeah, no, I did it right the first time. Muzzle just sits on his little head. Oh, little guy. Little guy. It just sits on there. Little muzzle. Does he break out of it, though? No, he does not break out of it. All right. He's a cute little dino. Normal articulation. Legs move in and out a smidge. Let's take a look at the close-ups on this guy. We'll appreciate this. All right, so I've got him with the muzzle on first. He's very green. Very, very green. I like the paint job. A little splotchy paint job. Looks good. Looks good. And again, he's got his muzzle on. Let's take the muzzle off. You can see a nice, nice little kind of cartoony paint on the eyes, but he's supposed to be like kind of a baby one. Again, I like that jaw movement. Glossy tongue. There it is. The thing on his foot. You can scan that in the Jurassic Facts app. Pause the vid and scan that. Again, we get the same kind of articulation we've seen in most of these dinosaurs. It's kind of nice. It's really good, actually. Uh, legs do go in and out a smidge. A smidge. Like, just a little bit. See? Just a little bit. But he stands up well. I mean, I don't see whether... And he also bounces on his tail if he needs to. And eh, maybe he doesn't stand up well. I spoke too soon. But what I want to do is I want to compare this real quick. Before we throw him in the lab, I want to compare him to the 97... The 98 or 97... Lost World version. This is the same thing. This one has a little broken leg. I actually have another one that I mentioned that I broke his leg for real. Because uh, you take the little cast off, right? I don't, I'm kind of scared to show you guys this part. So you remove the cast. It goes in that little hole. But then, see, there's that little bone right there. And you can, like, break the leg. It's supposed to be like it's broken. But it literally physically broke on my other version of this toy. So I'm kind of afraid. I don't want to go into too much detail on that. I'll just leave him as my good in shape one again from lost world site b jp42 his mouth his little mouth opens and closes very similar to this one i like this though the muzzle looks good let's put the muzzle back on him let's put the muzzle back on him. there we go and let's throw him over in the diorama all right there you go i mean i just kind of set him up in here you know in the diorama the little lab going on i've got my whole rv trailer thing from lost world Again, it's incomplete. It's missing some pieces, but still, it's actually seen better days. It was weird. I had it in storage, and it was next to a Stegosaurus, and he kind of, like, over the years, imprinted... I don't know if the two plastics didn't like each other, and it was a weird chemical reaction, but he kind of melted through some of them. That's how it's supposed to look, but that's how these ended up looking over time, which is kind of sad, because it used to be in really good condition. But in storage, so you got to be careful with your stuff. Maybe wrap them up. That's what happens. Either way, back to the dinosaur put him on a little operating table. I've got my jacked up Ian Malcolm. He's got like chunks taken out of the back of his head. This is the one that got played with. I have another version that's a lot nicer. But yeah, he looks good. I think he looks really cool in this setup. I like it. It's neat. It's it's. I don't have a Sarah Harding figure, else I would have brought her out too. But it looks right. He looks good. Let's remove the... Uh, well, I guess he always had the muzzle on though. While they were working on him, he always had the muzzle. 
So I like it. I approve of this toy. I think he looks good. The scale, he might be a little big, because in the movie they carried him. And these are large figures. This figure is larger than the current ones. We haven't seen Malcolm yet. Just dropped him. We haven't seen Malcolm yet, but I imagine he's going to be maybe a quarter inch smaller or three quarters of an inch smaller. So it'd be hard for him to hold this baby Rex in his hands because he just like dwarfs him. Ah! <laughs> and that's, that's, that's it. That's where he is. What? This is kind of, it's just lifts up. I was like, I don't remember it doing that. I suppose it does. Hmm. It's been so long since I played with it. Either way, good dinosaur. I like it. I like the movement. I like the chomping action. Yeah. All right, guys, let me know what you think. It gets a thumbs up for me. I think he looks cool. He looks good. He's a decent dinosaur. I'm glad they made him. More than anything, I'm just glad they took the time to make him from the Legacy Collection. It's a nice addition to the Jurassic Park sets. It's it's cool to have that. So that's why I like it. I want to know your thoughts. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave them down in the comments below why you picked what you picked. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the Dano channel. Be part of the Dano channel family. Join the Sad Baby Squad. That means... You take a little dinosaur swipe. This is, I'm trying to talk really fast. Take a dinosaur swipe against that bell. That way you get notified every time I drop a brand new video. You don't miss a thing. Can any of you understand anything that I'm saying when I talk this fast? Remember when I used to do Micro Machines videos? That's where I got the practice on how to talk like this really quick because the Micro Machine guy used to say everything really fast. Think fast and small. That was him. But <laughs> if you want to be part of the Sad Baby Squad, I want to feature you in my vids. So, hashtag Sad Baby Squad. At me on Twitter. At me on Instagram, at Dano Flores. Lots of hand movements going on today. I want to share your stuff in the vids. Collections, drawings, cool abilities. I don't know. Some of you, I've, some, I've had people do magic. Dinosaur magic. Dinosaur magic. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. You guys are amazing. So, I want to feature you in the vids. So, tag me. At me. All those things. You know what? I'm doing it. Doing it. Hold on to your butts. Goodbye for real. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video series, do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button or I'll come bite ya. <laughs> you know I love you. Make sure to leave this video a thumbs up. If you like Star Wars, be sure to check out one of my other videos. But the best thing you can do to help me out is to share. Share my vids. Do that right now. Go do it. Now.